Hi friends, I am starting a new series of experiments to optimize the nutrients. Aerogarden recommends a fixed amount of nutrition based on the Aerogarden model and we just add the nutrition every 14 days and that's it. Very simple, right? Aerogarden does this for a purpose. We want to keep the gardening simple, especially the hobby gardening should be as simple as possible. So. Whatever Aerogarden recommends works best for all the plant varieties. So we have no issues there, but I'm just thinking that there may be some chance of optimizing the nutrition, especially for the plants like lettuce, spinach, etc. So I'm going to conduct some experiments and compare them side by side with different nutrient recommendations. In the first experiment, I'm growing lettuce and I am using exact same aerogarden harvest models. In the first model, I am going to add just 4 ml of nutrition at every feeding cycle, which is basically every 14 days. And in the second aerogarden, I am going to add 8 ml of nutrition, which is basically recommended by aerogarden. If we can achieve the same results in this garden with 4 ml of feeding, then that's a perfect optimization. Let's see if that is going to work. In the first experiment, I'm using a Paris Island cos lettuce. This is a very successful lettuce variety for all my hydroponic systems. And this is one of my favorite lettuce varieties. So I'm going to run the experiment on this lettuce variety. With that, I just started these two gardens. I placed three seeds in each pod and I'm using all six pods in each garden. As always, I am not adding the nutrition right away. I always add nutrition. Once I see the seedlings, I am going to follow the same thing. But whenever the seedlings are ready, I am going to add just 4 ml of nutrition here. But I will add 8 ml as usual for the aerogarden harvest model in this garden. Let's compare the growth side by side as the plants showing some progress. It's been 3 days. Most seeds have germinated. Normally, I wait little more to add the nutrients. I always wait for the seedlings to show up, but I'm going on a five day vacation. I don't want these seedlings grow without nutrients. So I'm going to start adding nutrition from now on. As we already discussed, I'm going to add 4 ml to this garden and 8 ml to this garden. Here goes the 8 ml. and here goes 4 ml since i just added nutrition i'm going to reset the nutrition reminder so that the cycle starts from today just press and hold it for five seconds you will see the blink that will reset the nutrition reminder all right, now onwards, I'm going to get the remainder every 14 days and I'm going to continue the same feeding. It's been seven days. The germination is excellent. Some pods had uh, multiple seedlings. So I thin out the seedlings and kept only one plant per pod. Look at all these seedlings. They're all looking alike and coming very nice. It's been 11 days. So far, I don't see any difference. Starting with the garden with the 4 ml of feeding. These are the lettuce seedlings. In fact, these are plants now. And moving on to the garden with the 8 ml of feeding. They are looking exactly the same. I don't see any difference. Maybe at the seedling, they don't take a lot of nutrition. Maybe that's why they are not showing any difference. Anyway, let's wait and see. It's day 18. So far, I don't see much of a difference. Starting with a garden with a 4 ml feeding. Look at all these plants. They are looking so beautiful, so fresh, so green. And moving on to the garden with the 8 ml feeding. They are looking very similar. I don't see a lot of difference here. And it's time to add nutrition. I'm going to follow same thing. 4 ml here and 8 ml here. And let's see. All right, here it is, 4 ml and 
the HTML here. It's been 22 days. Both gardens are coming excellent. Let's start with the garden with 4 ml. Look at this lettuce. It is coming very nice, strong and uh, thick leaves. They are very crispy. And coming to 8 ml, I see same growth. The only little bit of difference I see is this garden is a little bit dense. Let's take a closer look. It is pretty dense here. This one is not that dense as compared to the garden with 8 ml nutrition. Since I'm adding a 4 ml versus 8 ml, which is basically double in this garden, I should really see the double the growth, but I don't really see that kind of growth here. There is little bit of difference, like this lettuce is coming little bit stronger and more dense here. But it's very negligible. I don't really see much of an advantage adding 8 ml here compared to 4 ml here. I think the lettuce can come really nice just with 4 ml of nutrition. So I can definitely optimize the nutrition here and instead of 8 ml I can just go with 4 ml. If I really really need it I can go with 6 ml but definitely 8 ml is not required. I am going to start harvesting the lettuce from both gardens. Once I start harvesting the lettuce, it is going to be difficult to compare the growth because I could be harvesting more from one garden and less from other garden. It's hard to maintain same amount of harvesting from both gardens. So I really want to stop the experiment here but let's wait one more week and see what happens. It's been 28 days. As I said earlier, it is little difficult to compare the growth as I started harvesting the lettuce. However, I wanted to show it anyways before I wrap up the video. Starting with the lettuce that is growing with 8 ml of nutrition. I harvested all the lettuce from this garden and it is coming back nice. And moving on to the garden with 4 ml of nutrition. I did not harvest entire lettuce to the base. I left a few leaves so they are coming big. Anyways, the new growth is coming excellent here as well. So that low nutrition which is 4 ml is not really impacting the growth at all. Look at all this fresh growth. It is not stopping at all and it is coming very fresh and healthy. The leaves are as green as the leaves in this garden with 8 ml of nutrition. This with 8 ml versus this with 4 ml. I don't see any difference in the growth. So from this 28 days of growth, it is very clear and it is very well proven that 4 ml of nutrition is well enough for lettuce. It comes very nice. If you really want, we can stretch it to 6 ml, but 8 ml is definitely not required. So you can always experiment with it. You can also start with the 4 ml and if you think the growth is not up to your expectation you can increase to 6 ml and if you are still not satisfied you can go back to the regular feeding of 8 ml but in my opinion it is absolutely not necessary. One huge difference I noticed between these two gardens is the amount of tip bones. Let's start with the garden that I am feeding with 8 ml of nutrition. Look at these two plants. There are so many leaves got tip bones here. And coming to the garden with the 4 ml, I see a little bit of tip bones here as well, but very, very less. There are only three leaves have some tip bones. But coming to garden with 8 ml, there are so many leaves got tip bones. I cannot say it for sure, but these are exact same gardens and living in same atmosphere, like same temperature, same water. The only difference is nutrition. So I strongly believe the amount of nutrition also contributes to tip bones. Because I am feeding less nutrition, I think that is causing less chances of tip bones here. And the more nutrition probably contributing to more tip bones. I am going to experiment a lot in this angle, but I have a strong feeling that less nutrition will reduce the amount of tip bones. Alright, that is all for now. Hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching and happy gardening. By the way, if you have any specific questions about your hydroponics gardening, 
you can find me on uh, instagram as well as facebook and uh, you can post your questions with the photos or videos i'll do my best to answer your questions